Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this Thursday morning mountain weather update. Let's go to where it's snowing, Palisades, Tahoe. We've got some snow coming down. Now, I'm not expecting a big time accumulation out of this first batch. Your heavy stuff, the first batch of real heavy stuff comes in tomorrow afternoon. Afternoon of 22 into 23, and then there are additional storm systems down the road that will bring in additional snow. Um, additional heavy snow. You're going to have to wait on it in Mammoth as well. All this is really stuck up in Northern California. Let me show you the radar out of the Pacific Northwest. So there's your atmospheric river concentrated, um, the fire hose effect in parts of Northern California, but it's starting to sink a little bit further to the south, and that's why we're seeing snow in Tahoe. Um, on the northeast side of it, we're getting the blow off with snow into Idaho and a parts of Northwest Montana. Going to have to wait on it in Utah and Colorado. It's going to take a couple more days before it gets there. Let me zoom in. And now look at that. So Tahoe, you finally do have some snow coming up over the top, but still that heaviest, that heaviest concentration of moisture is to your north over Lassen and also parts of Shasta. Shasta has picked up 40 plus inches of snow. So and it continues to pile up there pretty fast. Let me give you the lay of the land. There is our storm system and it really hasn't moved much. It continues to direct traffic. It's just sitting here. It's pushing all of this rich atmospheric river moisture into northern California, and then we're getting that overrun into parts of Idaho and northwest Montana, and that's where it's going to sit for today. Now, by tomorrow, things are going to start to shift a little bit, and there are additional waves, different storm systems that will come rotating in off of the Pacific, as you'll see in the extended forecast. So the latest integrated vapor transport forecast, this is how we look for the atmospheric river. It stays up there in moderate to, to, at a moderate intensity, entry level strong all the way through um, late 22 into early 23. So it's still on the uh, the docket. And here's what I'm expecting this morning, my bullet points. So a moderate intensity atmospheric river through, let's just say early 23. Four to five different storm systems will help carry this moisture from the west coast into the interior states. Delivering snow there through a lot of Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado, targeting those areas, 1123 through 1129, believe it or not. So quite Quite a window of opportunity right there. Here are my key dates for snowfall in the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Tahoe, and Interior, uh, BC. So, for example, in Colorado, you've got uh, some light snow coming at 1124 in the afternoon, and then your heaviest snowfall in Colorado, and I actually increased the numbers in this update, um, are coming 1125, 1126, and 1127. Those are going to be the big days. And then moderate accumulation on 1130. Through interior BC, you've got some uh, light, you've got some heavy snow coming, afternoon 22 into 23, and then light 25 through each day, there might be a little pocket of light snow, 25 through 28, and then heavy on 1129. All right, let's go to Utah, and I want to show you what I'm talking about. So this is out to Utah. And this is the forecast mediagram. So there's uh, this column is today, Thursday the 21st. There's Friday. There's Saturday the 23rd. And there's Sunday the 24th. Notice the snow and the humidity in green right here all start to increase late on the 23rd. Snow starts to accumulate late on the 23rd into the morning of the 24th. And then it continues to accumulate even after this. So, you know, we're at about three inches here by very early on the 24th. But there's a lot more down the road. That's definitely not it. You can see the temps, and this is for Alta at about 9,000 feet. The temps today, about 36 for the high, 39 tomorrow, 32 on Saturday, and then they start to turn much colder um, as we roll into that, that stormy period. So that's Alta, Utah, guys, right uh, for the, the forecast. All right, here's the jet stream forecast. By close of business today, you can see the big trough sitting off the west coast in the Pacific Northwest. By Friday, here comes the next wave of moisture headed to the west coast, the next storm system. There's the 23rd. Now notice how the jet starts to sink a little bit further to the south and starts to straighten out and point towards Utah, the Tetons, and eventually Colorado. And that right there, you're just taking moisture and storm systems straight off the Pacific and rolling them through Utah and Colorado at this point. And that's when we're really going to start to see the moisture and the snowfall pile up across the inner mountains. Same right there on the 25th. Even the 26, another storm system comes through. Look at the deep, the trough right there through Colorado. And then that moves through, and that may not be it. There could be an additional storm system right here coming out of Canada on 11-29, 11-30, the final day of November. So it's stormy through the end of the month. All right, let me look at the forecast radar and satellite. So by 5.30 this afternoon, pretty much status quo. 
By tomorrow morning, you can see the next storm system hitting the west coast. So that brings in another surge. Uh, and there it is through 1123. Now that obviously brings snow all the way from Tahoe down to Mammoth and blows snow into Idaho, northwest Montana, B.C., and parts of the Tetons. And then look what happens right there. It starts to set up over the top of the Wasatch, the high you win is, and we start to increase the lift across a lot of Colorado. Watch what happens on the late on the 24th. And here comes the next storm system that quickly races into Utah, Wyoming, Colorado with our next shot of snowfall. And that actually continues. Look at that flow. Look at how rich that flow is. 25, 26, 27, another storm system reinforces it through a lot of Nevada, Utah, and a lot of Colorado. And that continues. Look at Colorado on the 27th, 28th, and then it's finally out of here. But there's another storm coming out of the Pacific Northwest with even colder air and snowfall. Here are my latest numbers. So the rest of today, all of today through tomorrow, uh, potentially up to 10 inches. Now, some of that's going to come tomorrow afternoon. A lot of that's going to come tomorrow afternoon. And there's more beyond that as well into 23. So there's a little bit happening up there today uh, in Tahoe, today, tonight, but quite a bit more tomorrow afternoon. 14, another 14 for Shasta. That'll put you at 50 plus easily. Eight for uh, on, on my forecast for Sun Valley and anywhere from three to six in the Pacific Northwest and BC. Now, a lot of my numbers went up in this time period, 1123 through 1130. So, you know, the last week right here of, of November. Um, potentially one to two feet, maybe three feet over the top of Mammoth right there in the Sierra. A couple of feet for the Wasatch and the High Uintas. Numbers in southern Utah went up a bit for Brian Head. In Colorado, all my numbers went up. One to three feet in this forecast update. With that targeted moisture flow and all that lift for like three straight days, uh, I had, I mean, the numbers were just inevitable that one to three feet now on the board. And that's that's almost every resort. Monarch up to Summit County, to Vail, to Aspen, to Snowmass, San Juans, uh, up to Eldora and Steamboat, if this pattern plays out perfectly. Uh, a couple of feet or more up there in the Tetons. So you can really see the targeting, Colorado, Utah, and the Tetons right there, the Wasatch and the Tetons. And Idaho does well with about a foot. Northwest Montana, about a foot. Big Sky, about a foot. Look at the numbers through Interior BC. One to two feet through Fernie, Kicking Horse, and uh, Revelstoke. Love seeing that. And one to two feet for a lot of the Pacific Northwest, up and down uh, the High Cascades and the Volcanoes. So an impressive period right there. Let me take you back. So there's the first period. Uh, 1121 today through tomorrow. And then the 23rd through the 30th. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in here to this morning mountain weather update on this Thursday. I appreciate it. Take care and have a great day.